Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing fine because today we're back with another interesting topic about mathematics. But before we start, let me first introduce myself. My name is Karen Joy M. Punsalan, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering at Bataan Peninsula State University. I had my internship at Smart Communication Incorporated in Hermosa, Bataan from June to July 2019. In the same year, I've attended the Global Korean Scholarship for ASEAN Countries Science and Engineering student in Mokpo Maritime University, South Korea from July to August, awarded with an Award of Excellence for Best Research Presentation. I guess now we're all set. Let's start our discussion. So for our last discussion, let's compare number using greater than, less than, and equal. I hope you guys remember we discussed a while ago from reading numbers, identifying its place value, and writing the number in expanded form because that will be very useful to understand this topic. So let's move on. Say hi to our alligator friend here that will help us understand these symbols. So when we compare number, we compare the highest place value first, then the next place value, and so on. So remember that we always consider the place value and starting from the highest. Let's start with our first symbol which is greater than symbol. We use the greater than symbol if the number on the left is greater than the number on the right. Again, we use this number to compare two values where the left is greater than the right value. Next, we have the less than symbol. The less than symbol is used if the number on the right is greater than the number on the left. Then lastly, we use equal symbol when we compare two same numbers. Again, equal symbol is used if two numbers are the same. I know that reading this still make us confused with the symbols greater than and less than. So as I say a while ago, our alligator friend will help us to understand this symbol. Let's say that this alligator is very, very hungry. And let's say that the numbers left and right are the number of fishes that alligator wants to eat. So let's have this alligator method to understand greater than and less than. Example, we have four fishes on the left and three fishes on the right. This alligator is very hungry. Which do you think this alligator wants to eat? Of course, our alligator will open his mouth with a more number of fishes, with a greater number of fishes. So our alligator will eat four fishes. So as you can see in this alligator, this green is our greater than value. When we read this, 4 is greater than 3, which makes sense because 4 is really greater than 3. So let's try this another example. We have 5 and 8. We have 5 on the left and 8 on the right. Always think of the very, very hungry alligator. Where do you think the alligator will open his mouth? Of course, he will open his mouth to the greater number of fishes. So, our alligator will eat eight fishes. And as you can see, like in the greater than symbol, this green represents the less than symbol. And when we read this, five is less than eight, which again makes sense because five is, is really less than eight. So let's move on to this example and try to answer the following. Which is greater, 
329,305 or 400,000. So, I hope you remember the rule a while ago that we have to compare the highest place value, which in this number, we have three and four, both in the hundred place value. So both highest place value in is in the hundred thousands. The next, we compare the first value first in the number. So since we have the same place value, we compare which is greater than three or four. So the digit in the hundred thousand place is three and another is four. So remember our hungry alligator. Which of these do you think our alligator will eat? Of course, the most number of fishes, which is four. So we can say that four is greater than three. That gives us the answer, 400,000 is greater than 329,505. So if you are still confused, let's try another example. We have to write greater than, less than, or equal on the blanks. Let's say we have these two numbers. Both number is in the hundred place value. So the next step is to compare these two value, three and two. Comparing from three and two, again, let's, let's remember our hungry alligator, which most probably our alligator will eat the most number of fishes, which is three. Let's have another example. In this example, we both have the highest value in the hundreds place. So let's compare this number. Since, since both hundred place value have four, let's move to the next place value, which is the tens. So in our tens, we have five versus seven. So again, which one would our hungry alligator eat? Of course, our hungry alligator will go with seven. So our answer is less than. Then finally, we have this example. We have 67,000 and 59,212. So again, both is in the 10,000 place value. So comparing six and five, we know that our hungry alligator wants to eat the greatest. Our hungry alligator will eat six than five. So 67,000 is greater than 59,212. So let's have another example. How about if we're given with this number? So this is equal because both is in the 100,000 place value. Growing through each number, we have the same 100,000 place value. We have the same 10,000 place value. We have the same thousand value. 100 place value are the same. The tens as well. And lastly, the one's place value is the same. So of course, since everything is the same, remember that equal symbol is written. So lastly, let's have this one. For our first rule, let's look at the place value of the highest value. We have 100,000 and we have 10,000 place value. So from that, we can clearly see which is greater. We know that 100,000 place value is greater than 10,000 place value. That gives us the answer greater than. So now let's try this. Again, you can post this video and try to answer the following to see how well you understand this topic. Which of the following is greater? Let's have this number 354,232 or 546,690. Both are in the 100,000 place value, but they have different digit in the highest value. So comparing three and five, our hungry alligator 
once it's the greater number, so he will eat five. That give us 546,690 as the greater. And let's take a look at this next example. 670,523 or 67,091. Again, our first rule is to identify the highest place value. We have 100,000 and 10,000 on the left. Obviously, this number is greater than because it has the highest place value of 100,000. So this is the greater number between these two. Let's have 33,645 or 38,633. Now, both is in, in the 10,000 place value also have the same number. So let's move with our thousand place value, we have three versus eight. So who do you think our allig hungry alligator will eat? Of course, let's go with the most number of fishes again. This 38,633 is greater than 33,645. So now let's try more by writing greater than less than or equal on the blank. So we have 534,623 and 897,090, both in the 100,000 place value. So we need to compare its highest value. We have five and eight. In these numbers, who do you think will our hungry alligator eat? Of course, the most number of fishes. So we can read this as 534,623 is less than 897,090. With our next example, we have 656,594 and 665,694. So we have to carefully look at each number because as you can see, it's only rambled. So we have to go through each digit starting from the highest place value since both is in the hundred thousand place value and both has a value of six we have to move on with our next value which is five five versus six so who do you think our hungry alligator will eat five versus six the alligator will eat six so 665,694 is greater than so we read it as 656,594 is less than 665,694. With our last example, we are given with 71,277 versus 71,277. By reading it, we can say that these two numbers are the same. So that gives us the answer equals. And that ends our discussion for today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you for listening. But before we end this, if you want to know more about Expert Guide Tutorial Services, please follow our Facebook Expert Guide Review Tutorial Services or subscribe to our channel Expert Guides on YouTube. I hope to see you soon. Remember to keep safe always. Bye-bye. And that ends our discussion for today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you for listening. But before we end this, if you want to know more about Expert Guide Tutorial Services, please follow our Facebook Expert Guide Review Tutorial Services or subscribe to our channel Expert Guides on YouTube. I hope to see you soon. Remember to keep safe always. Bye-bye.